Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name is Adam and once again I am back with some more Minecraft All the Mods 8. So now I don't have to technically cheat so much by doing a, a slash home. Right, I need to kill some Enderman. Is he just going to commit suicide? Is he just going to jump over the edge? I forgot these guys don't really do arrows, do they? Did... <coughs> there we go. Finally, <laughs> finally, I got got that finished. Um, where is it now? Let me quickly grab it out of there. We'll have another quick look at it just to see what it looks like now. So, we're up to basic, the model accuracy is up to 5, I think it was 4%, something like that. So, let's just keep going, shall we? 12 kills, I think we can bang out 12, 12 kills pretty easily. Um, so let's, let's go find some Endermen. And by find some Endermen, I mean just stroll up here and smack them about a bit. Let's try and find some that are a little more isolated, so they don't perhaps trigger everyone. They can be a little bit like zombie pigmen sometimes, and uh, you know, if one one kicks off, they all kick off. Oh, maybe not. You seem alright. Not too happy, but. Look, it's a choker thing with a lot of health. Oh, floating. Sorry, it's much quicker to kill with. Uh... With my arrows than it is anything else. I don't have much of a choice here. These things are quite annoying because of this floating away thing. Right, let's see if I can get close enough to it to actually see how much health he's got left. 102. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with him, he's just annoying, isn't he? Let's go over here and kill some Enderman. Well, try to. Six remaining. They're dying all around me, I don't even touch them. There we go, so we're up to advance now. We've got to go 30 to get to the next level. That's quite a jump, isn't it? It's a hefty jump. 
I mean, I, I could. It might be a little bit boring, but I would like to get up to these uh, advanced levels. Are you? Come to me. Next. Come on, gents. You know what? Two of you. Come on. Fools. I need to teleport it off God as well. Oh! Quest complete, kill 50 Endermen. Was that a thing? Ah, so this isn't a bad thing I'm doing anyway. That's a chunk of Ender Pulse. And a wind generator, that's an interesting reward. Got a full stack of interpels out of that somehow. We should really make them. There he is. looking at them directly thing works. What, what the range is. <laughs> Seems to be quite far. Oh, did, did the teleport wrong? Uh, double team. Six about <laughs> one of them drop a random bit of loot or something. I don't see any. I have no idea what that music's about. Weird. Whatever it is, it's oh, it's gone now. Oh. <laughs> that may be a bit too many. Oh, still won't be a problem. Just the same clickiness. I've got to survive this. Where did that one go? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, look, no, no problem. Didn't even break a sweat on that one. Uh, we've got left. seven left. Because you're about to die, Wimp. Three left. These two jumps. And one left. Let's say you down there. I'll wait for you for a moment. Let's see, how many do I need? 
Oh, okay, I'm, I've still got like 30 to go on that, so I won't bother with that. Superior is the next level. I'm not going to go to Superior. I just wanted to get to, um, to Advanced, so that's a bad thing to do. There we go, that's better. So there we go, so... Oh, upgrades to self-aware. So I already am superior. Oh, I, I thought that was the next upgrade was superior. So that's good. So that's that's probably going to be enough. So let's take this back home. Wonderful. That's a lot easier than, uh, than having to mess about with you know typing and, and misspelling and, and all that sort of stuff. So that's cool. Um, what do I do with it now? So I've got I've got something made. Let's go back here. So the result of the simulation will be output onto the matrix. Simulations are always be some kind of generalized prediction which can be used in various crafting recipes. Okay, so I gotta get that simulation chamber down, which did I put it in here. Or did I put it somewhere else? Oh no, I've still got it. So simulation chamber is something that needs to be put down and powered. Don't think it has to go anywhere safe should be able to just plop it there. Please insert a data model to begin. Can I, do I have to extract it? Do I? do I have to take the data model out and then put the data model back in? It needs a prediction matrix. No problem. There's 20 of them. Okay, so we've got a superior Enderman model. It's uh, got an accuracy of 65% compared to a lot four or five percent when when I started. So iteration one started. Loading model from chip memory. Assessing threat level. Engaging enemy. Sequence prediction succeeded. Processing results. So we get these generalized Ender predictions. I'm going to take those out. I'm going to let it do its thing because these predictions would be a crest reward, which has been extracted here. So I'm guessing that these are usable in some way. So you can use them to make certain things with some snow, slime, and an emerald. That's a little bit... That seems expensive for an enderpearl. You can make a dragon head out of it, that's interesting. An enderman prediction. So I'm guessing at some point then we'll, I'll get an enderman prediction. Yes, there we go. What are those for? Those are used to make nebulous hearts. Nebulous hearts are used to then make uh, interpels. So here we go. So 16 out of a. Uh, I mean that's that's far better. That makes much more sense. So a loot fabricator looks like something that I'm going to to have to make. These things are kind of garbagey, but so is that by any chance? What's next? Creating loot. The loot fabricator is the machine that gets you that sweet, sweet loot from mod predictions. When given power and successful mod prediction, you will be able to choose which item you'd like to get from the mob's data model. The machine will remember your choice so it can be automated. Notable mob predictions, ender dragons for ender eggs, zombies for iron, withers for nether star. Interesting. 
but in order to do that I'd have to kill tons of withers and I don't kill any withers because I'm lazy and I have a machine that does that for me so <laughs> that's probably never gonna happen but it seems I need to get an overworld one so I need to make more prediction matrices uh, which is glass clay and, and some iron and, and stuff so uh, let's see can I make yes look at that perfect so I think what I need to do is let's go actually back to things so I need to make uh, some more prediction things so model frameworks are the starting point for creating data models to start collecting data on specific mods you want to right click one of these then right you want to make one of these sorry then right click the mob you'd like to gather data on so I need to make some more model frameworks and I'm going to make four of those so I can can get uh, four different ones at once. So I need a bit more smooth stone. Weird way of getting it, but it does the job. And then I want to click, simply right click onto a Martini prediction matrixes after all. And then I can put all four of those into here to capture data on them uh, all at the same time, basically. So I don't have to keep chopping and changing them in and out. Uh, bounty board, what do I need more of, really? I suppose that's probably, I need to kill more witches, more spiders, and more creepers. And obviously, still more end of them. Now, there's not really any mobs knocking around. Is that an enderman out there? I can see hiding behind the trees. It is. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Don't, don't worry. I'm not going to get you. I've killed enough endermen for the day. So I'm not fussed about him. What are these two doing up here? Can't you read the sign? That means no llamas. Uh, so not much more I can do with that at the moment until I make the the machine. Uh, which is the loot fabricator so what does that need apparently I've got everything I need so loot fabricator and given power and a successful mob prediction. So let's see what my uncommon rewards are. A chest. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. Let's grab these. Because that should trigger at least this give me some more prediction matrixes so these can keep banging out more while I'm here let's chuck my root fabricator uh, oh, might, as, might as well put it right next to the machine right to the uh, simulation chamber that makes sense let's let that get a little bit of power and then we can put in there I know we can put the enderman. I don't know if we can put the generalized one in there though. I don't think that. I don't think that's a thing. No. 
that that is. And you know what? That end crystals might be worth doing. I'm going to hold fire because I want to have a look at the quest book because on chapter two, making some of these is a thing. So I'm going to I'm going to use these to make four of these things at the very least two three <coughs> four now I'm going to take that out that will complete that quest which give me a, a hamburger or all things so the rest, well, oh, oh, don't make any more. Let's just go with Ender Pearls. I mean, why not? Stacks and stacks of Ender Pearls, please. Of course, not that I need them anymore. <laughs> uh, so that goes in there. These I'm going to hang on to. Burger, I might as well hang on to. These generalized ender predictions are kind of useless. Wonder what interesting mobs I could I could try and collect. Is there anything that's particularly useful? No, I could do cow and then obliterate all those bloody noisy cows. Which of course would get you well quite a lot of meat out of it. I mean, I wouldn't have any food issues, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, skeletons, phantoms, drowns, zombified things. I imagine a blaze might have been quite helpful uh, in the past. But I guess not so much. A warden. What's a warden prediction get you? That gets you hearts of the deep. All that sort of stuff. Not particularly needed. I don't really need much in terms of drops, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I might say yes to a to a blaze, um, but I don't need that either. So I'm just going to stick with the standard mobs. You know, your spider, your skeleton, your your zombie, and uh, slowly get those to add up. I'm going to grab another couple of stacks of coal. And I'm going to head back out and see how my, my end of flame is doing here. And obviously I could expand this. I could put three, four end of flames down and adjust the timer to drop three, four times more regularly. But uh, I'm not in that much of a rush. So uh, let's head... Back to here, 